life here I wanted to share with you guys what was in my Disney binder this is my Disney binder um, currently once I get my Erin Condren I am actually transferring this information and things to my Erin um, Condren binder so I'm gonna go ahead and tilt you guys just a little more down there we go so this is my Disney binder my first page is actually my um, because I use these like clear protector sheets for everything is actually my tipping envelopes and my um, like I'm eating at this place so I have it not sealed uh, but it says thanks for the good food and then it's gonna have our names inside of it and then we're gonna put our tipping money in it and then we also have to the mousekeeping um, so that's what this first page is it's just too bulky to have in the back so next is this, um, like, th you know, notebook. And I just have it in there because I know when I'm on the flight, I'm gonna have like sudden inspiration uh, since it is a really long flight from Central Oregon to Orlando. Um, next is just a cover sheet. It says Walt Disney World Family Vacation. It said 2014, as you can tell, but I kind of like try to, you know, change it into 2015. Um, next on this side it has my travel itinerary this side it has my dining reservations as well as like my um like what restaurant are you in which park it's in where it's kind of generally located and the confirmation number on this side it just has our payment history like what's due when um some things are due at different times so like um flights we already paid for them on september 26th um, we have the beginning part of our Disney vacation paid for then on January 14th the final balance is due over here we have our only Disney gift card so far um, which my husband got for his birthday then we go on to day planner which I have it tabs which actually was pretty useless but you know kind of keeps it separated um, this has what we're doing day to day so I have on the front side what we're doing in that morning and then on the back side I have what you're doing that evening um, the first day we're planning on going to Epcot and then to Magic Kingdom because Magic Kingdom has the extra hours and so they're going to be open until 12 a.m. Um, then there's the next section which is the Animal Kingdom. Um, that day we're going to be there in the morning and then in the afternoon we, we have to be at Hollywood Studios for eating. Um, March 2nd which is our anniversary day. It's going to be Disney Quest Downtown Disney. I thought that would be fun to do, play some old school games and whatnot. And then that afternoon, we're eating at a, it's a German restaurant, but Bergarten restaurant because my husband's a big fan of German things. Um, so I planned that special for our anniversary day. It'll be our second anniversary. Go us. Um, then March 3rd, we're doing as many parks as we possibly can, and we don't have any set dining that day. The next page is our hotel information and our reservation number, which I don't want to show you guys too much. Um, this is our hotel reservation, our confirmation numbers up here, I have that covered. Um, we're going to be staying at Disney's Pop Century Resort. I hope it's as amazing as everybody says. And then I have a map of the Pop Century Resort. And then that's it for that. Then we do have our flights. Um, you know how like they give you that little page that you print out? I printed those out. And like everything that came with it. Like all the little stuff that says, hey, if this happens, you guys are covered. If this does happen, you're not covered. Um, another thing is, I know you can't see it. Good. Um, this is the map of how to get from whatever terminal you get to to how to get to the Disney Magical Express because we will be taking that. Um, the next is our dining plan. Um, we are doing the Magic Your Way dining plan so we get one quick service and then one table service and then one snack or yeah one snack per person along with like the refillable mug. Um, so there's that. And then the next section, we actually have our park maps that where we have went on Disney. And we kind of selected what we wanted. Well, I did. My husband doesn't care. He's like, this is all for you. Um, then we have, like, the different parks. I did arrows, kind of signifying what 
air like what direction we're planning on going when we get into the park so we don't go like oh look over there no we'll be coming back to that at the end of our journey that's kind of it was just made it more streamlined because we're only going to be there for four days and or yeah four days and there's four parks so we wanted to make sure we maximized our time in each park um, and then let's see I don't know if you can tell but the arrows are on this page so you can see kind of the direction that we're planning on going um, I'm not too th like I'm not overly like, oh my gosh, Magic Kingdom, because we do have something similar here at Disneyland. Um, I'm more excited about Epcot. I'm really excited about going to Epcot. Um, I'm also really excited about going to Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. I know Hollywood Studios is pretty comparable to um, our Disney California Adventure, but I'm still excited about it. The next spot here, which was made by WDW Prep School, is our packing list. I actually am not going to use this packing list because it, I mean, it is the ultimate Disney World packing list, but it's the ultimate Disney World packing list if you have kids. We don't have kids, so a lot of the, this is just not useful for us. I thought maybe it would have things to like, hey, because it's Florida, you need to know this, uh, such as wear sunscreen, a lot of sunscreen. So you will fry, apparently. Well, my husband will, because he is very white. Um, then I do have the coin pressing maps, because I am obsessed with that type of stuff. Um, every time I go somewhere, I have to press coins. So there's like maps of all these like little boxes, tells you like what coin is where. Um, so that's that. And then over here, we have the fast class planning. planning. Um, I've already planned all of our fast classes and when we're planning on doing them. Um, I did generalizations. I didn't do exact times because I didn't know uh, what exact times things would be ready for us. So um, the first day we're doing fast passes in Magic Kingdom, we're gonna do Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Space Mountain, and Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, the next day at Epcot, because we're going to be at Epcot that day, um, we're going to do Mission Space, Test Track, and Soren. Then the next one is going to be Animal Kingdom. We're going to do Expedition Everest, Kilimanjaro, Safaris, Dinosaur. And then at Hollywood Studios, we're doing Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror, and then Fantasmic. Um, since all of the things that we plan on doing are going to be in the mid-afternoon or night, I put mid-afternoon or night. Because um, those are things that we'll be doing um the next section which i didn't really care for um but i'm using based off of the information is the height requirements um the only reason why i have those inside here even though we don't have kids is because it kind of determines what that thrill level is based upon the height requirement so um that's why i have that in here like um Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is 38 inches or taller. That's going to be a little more thrilling than, let's say, the Magic Carpets of Aladdin, which is for any height. That's why I have that information here, just because I want to know kind of what the thrill level is based upon the height of what that person needs to be. And then these are called Tinkerbell gifts. Um, I'm going to be using this for gifts that I'm going to be buying for um, my husband. I know that has like a little girl and a little boy there. Um, I'm going to pretend that that's me and him. Um, so Tinkerbell gifts for us is not leading up to the day. It's um, what gift I plan on giving to my husband at what point of the trip. Um, I do have six or seven gifts that I'm planning on giving him while we're there, um, but he doesn't know that unless he watches this video. So anyways, that's our Disney World Binder. Oh, sorry, these last pages, I just realized because I just felt it kind of jump out is um like pamphlets or whatever that we get from disney world um again all of this is going to be transferred into my erin condren binder um once i get it uh, because i know that i can easily make this a lot more streamlined in there and less bulky because this is let's face it this is huge and i don't need that much information and i won't need the notebook it says notebook pages in there and all this other information is just an easy way for me to get into my Erin Condren binder once I get it. Um, 
I do plan on sharing with you guys the experience of transferring the information over and how I'm um, turning my Erin Condren binder into a Disney World binder. Well, it's not a binder. Erin Condren life planner into my Disney World uh, travel and life planner. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. If you guys like my life planner or have any questions about it, please comment below. Otherwise, please subscribe. Have a wonderful day.